Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Yes, it's me, Jeremy the Coach Brooks, the aka, oh, shut up there, the host. God dog it. Anyway, aka Tripod, and I'm sitting here with the man, the myth, and the legend, Bamusa. That's right. And uh, we just went to an event Saturday. We did a little, uh, we didn't spend the night because we got kids. Yeah. And other priorities, job, and we got to make money. But we did a little day camp, and uh, tell us more about it, Bamusa. So, this was our second event uh, for Amped Guard, mm -hmm. which is a live-action role-playing game, a LARP, where nerds hit each other with sticks, foam sticks, and Do you get dressed up. Do we have nerds? Yeah. Okay. And that includes you. I am technically not a nerd. Oh, uh, you're, oh, you're not? I, what? I, I'm, I'm, well, how am I a nerd? You were dressed up, weren't you? You, you forced you me to got... dress. Well, you, you know what? You didn't force me to dress. What I realized, and, you know, I, I had doubts about it. Everybody had doubts. Everyone has doubts about, about it. As Moose is sitting here with his arms crossed like he's Lion King of the, the jungle and shit. I am Lion King of the fucking jungle. Whatever. But uh, if you want to get more accepted in Amgar and, and Dag and any kind of LARPing event, you gotta be them to participate with them. Yeah, you got. Yeah. Even, even if you don't fight, if you just dress up and and be a character, mm. they will open with open arms. Yeah, because it's all about. Like everyone wants to say, oh, it's all about fighting. It's all about. There's a lot of people. It's a, it's a lot more. I learned that this weekend. Yeah. It's a lot more. A lot of people fighting. think it's all about the fighting. Nah. And those are what. People refer to as stick jocks. Now um, that's now that's two different. Let's 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 get let's don't get it twisted. From what I'm here, from what I heard all day Saturday, mm -hmm. stick jocks are mostly dag. No, yeah, but there are some in Amcar. There are but, some in Amcar. Boy. Like when yeah. I went to fall when we went to Falling Fires, Goose, who's now the Kingdom champion, right. he's like, yeah, we're mostly stick jocks at this park. So yeah, it, and, they, it's, and you know what, they did a lot of fighting. Mm -hmm. When it when it was a lot of downtime, and they, you know, yeah. they, they did a lot of fire, but they also did other stuff too. Yeah, and but the big difference between like Dag Stick Jocks and Amp Card Stick Jocks is uh, the Amp Card garb is much better. Yeah, because the uh, it's a cultural thing for the different games. Mm -hmm. Really, is what it is. Um, but, you know, our unit started uh, in DAG. So, I mean, we, we get it. And that was, like, our goal for the longest time. We are like, our local group, uh, we we're like, oh, we, we want to get involved with Dagger here and, uh, you know, be DAG fighters. And we kind of did. I mean, I did it a little bit, and I took a break, and everyone else continued on, and they did pretty well. Uh, but now we want more out of this, out of LARPing in general. So we we're now looking to Amp Guard to fill in what we what else we're looking for. Because mm -hmm. you want if you want to learn mm -hmm. how to fight with a foam stick, Dagger here is the way to go. Because those guys can can fucking fight. They straight up fight. But um, as one of our co-leaders pointed out when uh, apparently everyone used to play all the games the people who were the best were the ones that fought everybody right. and let me just say this too by no means am I saying that because I'm not saying dag fighters are better fighters than amp card fighters by any means mm -hmm. because there's plenty of people that I've seen that play both and they're like Sometimes you can tell the difference, um, mainly because the dad guys just are like programmed to hit harder. Mm -hmm. um, but it's yeah, like, it's like dad guys are more like blood in their eyes. <laughs> yeah, you know, from yeah. all the videos you showed me and the other people showed me and stuff. Yeah, it's intense. It's yeah. very, very it's intense. Like you might as well just you know just sound a nuclear horn and just go at it. Yeah, like I cannot fight on a dag field. Like it just wouldn't happen. Right. 
with the uh, the injury I have. But I can fight an amp guard because I don't have to worry about it as much. Right. Um, and it's also more, uh, it's just more open to other people. Like if you're not that physical, they also have magic classes to where you can stand back and throw, you know, tennis balls at people. Yeah, that's, you know. Ah, I got hit with a tennis ball. Oh, you know. Yeah. I don't like that. Well. I respect it, but I don't like it. Yeah, and that was kind of our situation. We're still getting used to the magic aspect. Not the, honestly, not the biggest fans of it, but I think there's a lot of people in the same boat. Mm -hmm. It's like, but that's the game, and that's, you know, we're going to learn it, and we're going to, you know, use it to our advantage as well. Uh, We met this guy uh, while we were there, and he said he was a caster, he was a magic user because it pissed him off so much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he, he wanted to do the same thing that he had to deal with to other people. Right. And so, yeah, I mean, like, how it makes sense. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we're, we're all more about the physical fighting anyway. But, I mean, it is what it is. Right. So, uh, Saturday... Tell us more about Saturday, you know, your experience and your thoughts on it and uh, what you accomplished all Saturday and the new people you met, because I'll tell you now, we met a, a, a boatload of new people. We did. You know, and this and was my first time ever going to an event like this, and I it made a fan. I, I became a fan of M. Carter LARPin just because me going there Saturday. All right, and I had to, like, you were... You were fine with going, like, oh, yeah, the whole fine. time. Yeah, you know, and I always go. Yeah. It was just... But I had to fight tooth and nail to get you to dress up <laughs> and to get you to, like, be more in it. But by yeah, the time... You know, you know, it's just it's just the, the back of my head saying, if I'm not going to participate in anything, why the hell should I dress up? Right. But now you get it, right? I do get it. I understand it. And, you know, and I ain't showing no disrespect towards it. Mm-hmm. I just didn't get it. You know, like, you know, right. like the last time I went somewhere with you, I didn't have to dress up and I still was there. Yeah. But because you did, you were more accepted. Agreed. And just to bring, just to go back to that, for the first time, uh, our, this, my local group of friends branched out to meet other people in LARPing. Foam fighting is what. They like to be called sometimes. Like the real stick job guys were like, Oh, we're not LARPer for foam fighters. Right, that makes it's like, it better. It's like no, you're 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 still dressed up. You still you're not John today. You're you know, whatever your character's name is. <clears throat> you're LARPing, bro. Sorry. <laughs> um But the first time we went out to uh you know, expand our horizons, we knew like one person there at this uh, this practice we went to, we knew, like, one person. The first fight, we were getting split up. Team captains, they were about to pick their first person. Mm-hmm. They picked Lance, one of our guys, because he was the actually the only one in costume. No one, mm-hmm. no one knew him. No one knew his name. Mm-hmm. No one knew how, what kind of fighter he was. But they were like, him. Him first first picked so so I it's, say, it's important hi Jacob Best I'm hotter I'm here too uh, <laughs> there were people that they knew were better maybe not better fighters but they knew were good fighters and they picked them they picked Lance over them yeah because his I think some of them may have like may have had like a costume shirt on or something but they, they were, were all like, like half dressed up yeah it was like a, a practice yeah it was just a practice but he was full on dressed and they were like him um, I know, I know Jacob was there. I think Brooks was there. Was that in Spring Hill? Yeah. I was there. Yeah. That was, that was my, uh, to be honest with you, that was my first time going on a road trip with you. That was, yeah. To a practice. That was the practice I passed out at. Yeah, you passed out. <laughs> it was your first, uh, that was our first road trip too. Yeah. Like we had never gone out of, like, our own yards at right. that point. And you bring up a good point about Lance because I went, and that was my first time, and I dress up like I always dress up, shorts and a camel, and a camel sweater or something. Right. And nobody approached me. 
Yeah, because like I you're was, not. I was, I was over there on the side just watching, trying to figure out what the hell are they doing with these damn sticks. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> the more you present yourself to what's going on, I learned, you know, you they, they you get attracted more. It's like it's like you got that coat. You know, women buy that nice fur coat. I'm like, I'm sexy, I'm sexy, look at me. <laughs> and like all the dudes like, damn, look at her, oh, look at her, but you got that yeah, my anyway. But uh yeah, that I, I you know, I didn't want to uh, dress up for this and I feel like I didn't have to, but after going Saturday mm-hmm. and experiencing everything, you know, every time we go, so I dress, hell, I even talk about what kind of garb I want to wear now. Yeah, you were asking me to make you new yeah, costume you know, pieces. I'll, if and... I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it big. Now, I, you know, I, and I, I respect it. I love it. It's fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had a great time, and I appreciate you letting me come with you and all that. And, and I, I love that everybody, you know, from somebody like me, that don't even pick up a stick, you know, don't even get involved and stuff, and to get noticed. Mm-hmm. I, that felt awesome. Yeah. That felt awesome, and and, I, and we'll get more into that. Let Brian tell, you know, tell more about it. But uh. Yeah, I showed up without weapons, and I got I definitely got stopped a lot mm-hmm. to be told that everyone really enjoyed my costume, my garb. Because, well, mainly because it was so different than everybody else's. I'm assuming that's why. I'd be honest with you. We were, we were dressed totally different than everybody else was. Yeah. So, it, it, and it was a lot. It was colorful. It now, was, don't get me wrong. Amp Guard's got a lot of color going on. Yeah. yeah. It was it was a Which lot was of really characters cool. there. Yeah. And it was like, that son of a bitch just came out the movie screen. Yeah. Yeah, there were some people who were so totally legit. They really took time and money and patience to make their garb. And they yeah. did a hell of a job with it. Oh, they did a hell it was some. It was just one uh, dude from Pirates of the Caribbean. He was <laughs> a pirate. And he looked just like Johnny Depp. Are you talking about Gaius? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, I believe he's the incoming monarch for Shadowcrest in Georgia. Great people, too. Like, he... Uh, Probably one of my favorite people, for sure, that we met this weekend. Uh, he had a lot of cool ideas. He ran a leather working class that I took, made some keychains and stuff, and learned how to do leather working more affordably. Uh, so that means I get to get into leather working. Mm-hmm. To add on to, uh, what is it? What's my. Uh, you only do everything? Yeah, I only do everything. Uh, now I can add leather working to that as well. Uh, yeah, like a boy scout, he need patches. See, and okay, that that's a good. Th- I'm glad you brought that up, because when we first started the shadow spar unit, the dag unit that I, uh, I originally started, uh, we basically had boy scout badges essentially, mm-hmm. and I took the idea from another unit that's farther up north. Uh, I was told that's perfectly fine, so. <clears throat> But you would get, you would earn these badges, and actually, I have them out there, because I actually made one of each. Um, you would get a badge if you, uh, geez, I forgot what most of them were. But it was all, like, if you made so many pieces of garb, and you had, then there were a couple other requirements. You would get the, that badge, you would get, if you built, like, physical structures, mm-hmm. like, uh towers or stuff like that you would get you would get some if you contributed money i mean that was one way to get one because we need money to run the the stuff um it doesn't cost money to play it's fair it's pretty affordable to start actually it's really cheap if you do it right. right um and i love that and then when i left all that got scrapped because it was there was a lot to it Mm-hmm. Um, because the group I took it from, they've been around for like decades. Uh, so they're established and I, everything I had in there was like, it was so hard to obtain, but we come to amp guard and they basically have the same thing. Mm-hmm. It's just slightly different. Right. So that's one reason I'm really pushing for us all to make this switch. 
because they basically have merit badges with uh and I'm still learning the game so I don't know them all. It's more family. It was more towards family too. Yeah, there's a everyone had kids. Like everyone had kids running around. The kids um, got involved. They had kid classes. Yeah, they had stuff, like so. kids arts and crafts. They had they had a kids arts and sciences tournament. And arts and sciences is basically like arts and crafts stuff, you know, making costume pieces, making weapons, making just stuff that has to do with the game. Uh and they had a children's level. I I don't know if they have children fighting here. Like because you have to be 14 and up to be on the battlefield. But I know some places if you're under 14, uh you can you can there's like a like a kid fighting league, but like the parents have to like watch over it like all the parents all the time. All right. Um which I think is pretty cool. I don't know if they do that here or not. Um, but yeah, the kid, there were kids doing stuff. There was, everyone was super cool. We interviewed this guy, and I was trying to find his name because I want to make sure I pronounce it right. Because we only, I only know him by his character name, right. um, which is great. That's the way I wanted to be. Um, uh, Oh man, I'm looking at your name and I'm still probably going to pronounce it wrong. Uh, Take your time. I'm taking my time. I'm gonna, uh, Shindorian? Was that his name? Is that how he pronounced it? I think it was. Shindorian? Uh, first off, this dude's garb is crazy good. His garb, his garb like he went to a movie set and just took it off the rack. Yeah, like so it was from head to toe, like it, oh, it was. I can't even say the word. Miraculous. Yeah, thank you. It was. Oh man, it's like one of ten. And like not like a background character, like the lead main role, character. like like his stuff was so cool. And, and his fighting was <clears throat> good too. It matched his costume. Man, he, he just they, these people went all out, and like Brian said, it didn't cost that much money. Yeah, and like it went all out, and it's, it looked great. Like, he probably, I mean, he's definitely put some time into it, for sure. No, right, right. Um, but, yeah, like, when we got you re- set and ready to go for, like, four bucks. I mean, granted, I had a bunch of stuff already, but, I mean. Yeah, I had to buy a shirt and stuff like that. And just buying a shirt, and you had the rest of the equipment I had to wear, the garb I had to wear, and we just put it on together when we got there. Yeah, but you were wearing less than $20 worth of stuff. Right. And then to build... Uh, your first weapon is going to cost you under 20 bucks. Don't know if I need that, but keep going. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, for for anyone interested, <laughs> right, like, right. you could get started and started well for under $50. Right. And then the game is free to play. Events cost a little money just because they have to pay for the insurance and the site fee and all that. But the money you're paying for the events will come, it just... We had our feast. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh. Okay, how we paid ten bucks a piece for the single day. Uh, that if we would have got there on time, that would have included a breakfast. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what that included exactly, but that included our lunch, which was these little taco biscuit it was, things. It was like a mini shepherd's pie, but a taco one. Yeah, like one chicken, one beef. Yeah, and then the. Feast at the end of the night. Oh, it was goodness. pulled pork, rice, baked beans. Different kinds of baked beans. You had three different kinds of baked beans. Three different and two yeah. different kinds of potato salad. Right. You had vegetable baked beans. You had baked beans with beef and baked beans with bacon. Yep. Then you had vegetable. Uh, vegetable soup. Vegetable soup, which I didn't know they had. I would have got like three bowls of that. Yep. Then um, they were talking, man. It bread. Was bread. Sweet you know, tea. It's like you was at Golden Corral. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But you didn't pay thirty something dollars for one plate. Exactly, and then uh, we we, uh, we sat down with our unit and we ate, and then everyone anyone who wanted it got seconds. And I tell you, my second portion that was a knockout punch. My too. Uh, I wasn't I was, even going to get seconds because I was like, I'm kind of new. I'm like, I'm probably the newest guy here. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait and see. 
I don't want to. I I try really hard not to overstep I'm boundaries. I'm gonna disagree with you on that. I was the newest guy there. Okay, fair enough. And I didn't care what they said. You didn't me. care. I was hungry. But I was like, I'm gonna wait and see. <laughs> so I waited till the line was almost gone. You and saw we, what I had on my plate. That's what you. Yeah, saw. and you came back and you're like, dude, there's like three, three trays of. When, pork they, pork. when they made an announcement that if you want seconds come back up, they literally bought like two more trays of pulled pork. Yeah. And they said you can serve yourself. Don't tell me that. Yeah. I was. I think I was either the last or close to the last. And they still have more. And there was tons of food left. So they, like, they, they, when they say feast, it's literally a feast. Yeah. But the one thing I liked about that part was everybody dressed up in their, in their evening gown and they, they garb and stuff for look nice. Yeah, everyone gets dressed up even nicer. But your whole unit sits together. Yeah. And, so that's a unit and you eat together, you celebrate together. I you, like that. You can decorate your table. Right. Which I thought I was going to be cool. Like, I was like, yeah, check this out. We're going to make a, we're going to be a presence when we walk in there. I had this really cool banner I had made from Vista Print. And I was going to put this on our table. Like, this is, this is Ravenhurst's table. And I walk in holding my banner. I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself right now. I open that door and half these tables are covered in elaborate tablecloths. Mm -hmm. With period accurate feast wear, like wooden bowls and plates and silver serving platters and bottles and candles. They, they, they did it. They, I, I was, I was shocked. And I was just like, "Damn, never mind. I'm just gonna put this on the table and walk out. Before, this is our table. We'll be back." And that's our first time, so <laughs> yeah. Now, now we know. But watching everybody do their thing, you know, bringing a tablecloth with a team logo on it. And the cool thing is, is we have all that stuff. Right. We don't have a tablecloth, but we have we have stuff we can, we we can use. make. That. It ain't gonna cost that much to make something like that. Yeah, but we have like wooden bowl. Like Lance has it all. Right. We all have wooden bowls. We all have wooden serving trays. Uh, not we don't all have utensils, uh, but I know I'm working on my own set, and then uh, cups. Like we all have like uh, period drinking cups for right. days, and uh, it was. That was a really cool experience. I enjoyed it. I really did. You know, for somebody that's, I, I, I consider myself an outsider coming into stuff like this. Right. And me experiencing that, you know, I, I that was I had fun. I literally had fun. I, I'm, I'm happy I told my boss I was going somewhere else <laughs> to come to that Saturday because I really enjoyed it. I met a lot of new people. Yeah. I thought I was never going to meet. Have you been to Thalindor yet? Will Sunday be your first time? Yes. Okay. Those yeah. guys, are, they're awesome. I no, love them. I watched the videos y'all put up. And yeah. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, I, that, this has been my first time Sunday. Um, and yeah, like, we had... Our day started out shit. Oh, God. Don't get me started with that. Like, I was I was oh. so negative on the Future Heels podcast we just did. I was trying not to be negative. <laughs> but I'm going to do it real quick. Get it out of here. Do it. Uh... Originally, I thought the the site was thirty eight minutes from the house. I was so excited. I was like, we don't even have to leave that early. We get in the car. I put in the GPS. It's an hour and fifteen minutes away. Did you not GPS it before? I did. I, I must have the wrong address, or maybe I just put <laughs> in the town. And I was like, oh damn it! All right, so we're late. So we have to swing through McDonald's for breakfast or something. Which was entertaining. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Uh, Cause I had full blue face paint and war paint on and everything. You were blue dabba dee dabba die. Yeah, <laughs> if I was green, I would die. Uh, <laughs> and, the, and the lady, oh god. Yeah. The is that what the lyric is? No, it's like, okay. That's what everyone says it is, but it's not. Uh, but yeah, the lady was like, "Where are you? Where are you guys headed with that stuff on your face?" And I tried to give her a legit answer, but we got Brooks over here. What does he say? <laughs> He says, we're going with the hood. But I said a loud the answer to everything. Yeah. <laughs> and she just bust out laughing. She laughed. So that was the last thing she was expecting. But you realize she took your flyer. And yeah, I gave her a flyer. And she, and she read it. Yep. And she read it. You know. Oh, I handed out a bunch of flyers yesterday, by the way. I don't think you give me nothing. I know. Don't leave without flyers. Right. But like, I went to Walmart. I went to Applebee's. I went to Put out flyers CBS. for the podcast. Fuck this. Make some okay. out. Yeah, make them. <laughs> Uh, we could have passed some out. We do need sure. something. We really do. Um, I order business cards too. They'll be here tomorrow for the podcast. Cool. <laughs> no. um, so, but yeah, the day was so bad because that happened, 
And then we get there, we get our day camp set up, and my unit tells me they're not showing up. And already half the unit wasn't coming. So then the other half was like, sorry, we can't make it. It's a two-hour drive. It's too late for us to leave. Guys, I was disappointed in you. <laughs> so, uh, I was too. So we're like, motherfucker, what are we going to do? So that right there made me go all out in my garb. Yeah. Do you think they listen to the show? I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. If you listen to the show, say so on the Facebook page. Oh, they will. They'll, they'll <laughs> let me know in chat for sure. Do comment right now. Comment on this, wherever you're listening. Yeah, you can. We'll post this in the Facebook. Yeah. So, so, um, so then to try to make it better, I was like, come on, let's just go find someone to hang out with. Oh, God. So then we go into the tavern, which, by the way, the, having a tavern at the LARP event was fucking sweet. It, you could go in into a tavern, like every D&D campaign starts as, and there's like a barkeep. Basically, wearing a Make Tavern Great Again t-shirt, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, so, you can go in there all day and buy drinks and snacks and whatever you needed. I thought you could buy the other drinks, but hey, it is what it is, you know. Yeah, because they, they were giving out blue wristbands if you're 21 <laughs> and up, but uh, you know, they couldn't serve alcohol. You had to bring you, it. You had to bring your own. It's I probably a good thing. Yeah, probably. But we're... Uh, we we sort of knew the guy who was working the the bar the barkeep and he was explaining to us the games that were going on. There were other like behind the scenes mini games kinda of going on. But you gotta explain to him how he found us, how he saw us. He saw what you was wearing. Oh yeah. And he remembered me from the videos. Yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah. Which is awesome. Sorry about the background noise. What the hell is it? Santa Claus upstairs or some yep. shit? What is going yeah, on? That's right. And they, um, we found out, you know, where everything's happening, what all is going on. And then I was interested in the classes. Like I mentioned, the leatherworking class. There's supposed to be a sword making class, but I never saw it happen. I'm not even sure it happened. Um, but he told me to go ask the queen, who was sitting a couple tables over. So I was like, okay. So we're heading over, and I don't know if I was buying drinks or why you were holding the no, walking you, stick. they gave us the white... Uh, flag or something. Oh yeah, we had to put a white flag on us so people knew we weren't involved in the fighting game that was going on. No, you gotta bring this up. Yep, because this was it. Just adds to the pile of shit. It the morning was. To the pile of shit that was piled up by the side <laughs> window. So we're walking over to the queen, and I've got this really cool walking stick I made for my character with macaw feathers on it, and just rope wrap. And leather wrapped around it. And I've got this bottle. It was a bottle with this green liquid in it that I set up to glow when I turned it on. And we're walking. All the, all of a sudden, all I hear is this super loud pop. And yes, that bottle was glass. And it fell. And there was glass and green Irish Spring body wash Everywhere, because that's what I had it full with. It smelled right, good, though. It smelled good. But right in between the two tables where the current queen was sitting and the incoming king was sitting. I was so embarrassed. Like, I couldn't Tell move. I just it. stood there. Oh, I... I, I could know. not move. I'm like, I cannot believe... And I was embarrassed because I didn't want to ruin the moment for Brian. <laughs> and plus, I didn't no. want to you know, make it worse because... Half of the we didn't realize that everybody wasn't coming. Yeah. So that just added more fuel to the fire that was already halfway to the sky. So we got it all cleaned up. Um, thanks for. Uh, I don't know if we thank. I'm sure we didn't thank. No, we thanked him like fifty times. Yeah, but thanks uh, one more time to yeah, King Kelvo and Ada for helping us clean yeah, it up. Re- we really appreciate y'all. You know, not judging us because we made that minor mistake. Yeah, actually, King Galdo is on my my TV screen right there. Uh, but so and like we get it all cleaned up, and Brooks is like, "Let's just get the fuck out of here." I was like, "Yeah, let's go." And we're standing around outside, and we had a couple people come up and talk to us. Uh, and we're just like, you know what? <clears throat> we're here. We tried to make the best of it. It didn't work. So let's just try again. Yeah. So we grabbed the that dude we were talking about, 
uh, I'm sorry if we butchered your name, to come over for an interview because his, his garb was all on point. It really was. And uh, so we talked to him. And that was cool. We went, we watched some more fighting. Uh, I think we went back to our little day camp and hung out. Then we went to lunch. Mm. This is where things started to get better. Real better. Because lunch was awesome. I was hungry too. And... Oh, me too. I was, I was really deep. <laughs> and then Brooks got us a table because things were starting to fill up. And brought us some chairs. And I go to sit down because I was first in line out of us. And I go over. And there's this lady and her daughter sitting there. Yeah, I got mad. Somebody stole my seat. <laughs> she was like, oh, I'm sorry. We stole your chairs. And I was like, ah, oh, it's all right. Because we had stuff sitting there. But I was like, oh, it's all right. Because people were bringing more chairs over and stuff. And I was like, it's fine. They're bringing chairs. And uh, so we, we sat and we talked to her for a little bit. Um, you know, she asked me the most, the question I was asked to everybody all weekend, what park are you from? Oh, God. Told her, yeah. <laughs> told, told her, you know, we're starting a new park. Told everyone we're starting a new park. She's like, oh, if you're starting a park, I know, uh a great person for you to talk to. And I was like, oh, I would greatly appreciate it. She's like, yeah, follow me. But before that, here's a funny thing. While Brian, oh, so, excuse me, by Musa was talking to her at the table. Yeah. The person she was going to introduce by Musa to, I was talking to in the line. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny. And he was asking me questions. And, I, and I, I'm not a person that get nervous when someone asks questions. Yeah, but you don't really know what's going on. I don't so. know what the hell was going on. Yeah. I'll switch. I'll, I'll admit it. So he started, he, I tried to shake his hand, but he had another handshake. I saw this. I saw this happen. Which I was like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Then he, uh, excuse me, that was my stomach. Then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> then he started asking me questions, like, what's your name? I'm like, oh, crap, what's my name? What do you make a name? No, I made a name. It don't sound right, though. Brooksy? Brooksy? <laughs> Did you sign in on your Brooksy? Yeah, I can't, we, I, yeah, we signed in on Brooksy. I can't find you on the org. Are you serious? I signed yeah. right under you. I know. I, I'm looking at the records keeping thing earlier. It's Brooksy. Then he asked me what park I was at. I said, you got to ask the man right there because I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> then he said, that's all right, brother, as long as you're here. And okay, that right cool. there made me comfortable. Yeah, like he was... Uh, I got comfortable. Super cool to talk to. Uh, and, boss uh, is looking for stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, she was like, yeah, follow us. And, uh... She took me to their cabin. She went inside and she's like, I'll go get them. And uh, she brings out her husband. Uh, and he's like, so are you starting to park? Yeah. He's like, yeah. He's like, Let me, uh, and he started telling me all these things you know, to do. And I'm like, okay. And uh, usually I just kind of let people go and just listen to what they say. Uh, but... I didn't, I didn't want to waste this guy's time, so I was like, yeah, I did that, did that, did that, did that, did that. And he's like, all right, so what do you need advice for? Because <laughs> right. apparently I, I, like, I'm doing, like, everything's done that needs to be done. But now I'm like, well, how do you get people in? You know, how do you bring people in? And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to draw you in. Mm-hmm. Come to our park days. <clears throat> Look up Ravenshurst on Facebook. Um... But he gave me so many cool ideas. The I, the one that helps them the most, and I looked it up earlier, that they are the largest park in the kingdom. Really? Yeah. Uh, and they're in the middle of, apparently, absolutely nowhere Georgia. Well, they're from Valdosta, but they go somewhere like a... Yeah, he, yeah he's from... Of, uh, I think he said... Uh, it's Hazelhurst. Yeah. Is it's where like in the middle between like Valdosta and I think Macon, he said, or above Macon. No, it's somewhere in the, the, the country part of Georgia. Yeah, apparently like the town that the actual park is in, like they don't have a movie theater or bowling alley. There's nothing to do. Basically. So, so I, we talked to him, we talked to other people from their park, which is Shadowcrest. So big shout out to Shadowcrest. Shadowcrest. Uh, those guys, everyone in Shadowcrest was super awesome. I love y'all. I yeah. really do love y'all. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I hope one day we can make a trip up to Georgia. We will make a trip up to Georgia. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. 
Shadow Crest guys were so great. And the cool thing about that, when they took Brian and it was talking with him, what was it, two hours? God, I I probably spent more than half the event talking to them all together. But well, at that Brian time... was gone, I was left like, oh, crap, where the hell Brian went? Yeah, because I went out, <laughs> we talked for so long, and then someone came up and they are like, yeah, Guys is starting his, uh, his class. And I was like, oh, uh... What class? And uh, they're like, oh, he's doing the leather working class. I got so excited because I thought I missed it. I was like, yes, that's what I came here for. So we go back to the tavern, and uh, Rowan, the the lady's husband, I don't think I caught her name. Real Just name. Just do it, Brooks. Just open it. Just open it. And uh, Sorry. Ah, I feel bad. I don't think we caught her name, did we? I don't remember. We got. I mean, so to be many fair, names. you guys met a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry, sorry. I gotta get used to these names. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. They're not like John or. Right. Yeah. You know, they ask you what's your name. I won't say Jeremy. Right. <laughs> but they don't want that. But. Uh yeah, and I I even I'm like I don't know, do you want my real name or do you want my game name like. You don't want to be like piss them off because you. Should always be game name. I think. I think that's what it is. And if they really want it, you can give me your real name. And like on Facebook, my game name is in parentheses after my real name. So, and I like when people do that because like you can search people by their game name if they do that, and it's helpful. But we go back to the tavern, and I learn how to saddle stitch leather. I learn how to uh, do leather stamping. Learn how to prep leather. Uh, this is exactly what I wanted. I was so excited. It was like five bucks just to help them pay for the materials. And I got a little hair thing I gave to my daughter. A little, I don't even know what it's called. And then uh, a keychain. Uh, so we. Uh, and Brooks has no idea where I'm at <laughs> this whole time. I was time. about to do a goddamn Amber Alert. Yeah, like. Like, I was, like, in the little courtyard area talking with Rowan. Um, and then we went, and we, I was doing the class. So I was gone for, like, we were separated for, like, at least a couple hours. Yeah, I had my little adventure, too, so. Did you, did you like, take a nap? <laughs> well, here's what I did. I, I was walking around. First of all, I had to go back to the camp to fix my pants. Because they got a knot, and they kept on sliding. They're like, MC Hammer, I lost 55 pounds. I'm telling you, suspenders. Yeah, that's yeah. Time. And uh, so I went back to camp. I looked at all the cameras and make sure, you know, all right, I got everything set up. And uh, I was still going through my head, how can we make this day better? Mm-hmm. How can we, and Brian ran away from me. So how can, <laughs> we, make, how can we make this day better? And uh, I took a nap. <laughs> I took a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up and I had an idea of how to make this day better. So I go back to, you know, the courtyard, and I sit down by the bathroom, and I'm on the phone, and all of a sudden, somebody comes by and says, hey, what's up, tripod? I'm like, in my head, I'm like, who the fuck they call a tripod? <laughs> but in my, and you know, realistic, I'm like, that's my new name. Nice. I think tripod's better than Brooksy. But, uh. Yeah. I'm like, okay. I kept walking. <laughs> you know that. Then I mean, I found, finally found Brian two hours later. Through all the snow, sleet, rain, and dog shit I stepped on, I found found Brian in a in a tavern, and he like smiling ear to ear. Yeah, I was pretty happy. About that I, and when he's smiling ear to ear, I'm happy because all right, I didn't have to change nothing. He changed it for himself. <laughs> so if Brian happy, I'm happy since I broke his damn uh, walking pole <laughs> on accident. By I should to say. And, uh, yeah, it was me, it uh, was not your fault whatsoever. No, it was just, it was a freak accident. I just put the stick down on the ground all of a sudden. Ching, ching. Yeah, but uh, he showed me the pieces he made from his leather class, and uh, he learned a lot from that. He he asked you to do say if anybody want, has has questions, feel free to ask. And Brian was the only one that got up there and asked. Yeah, you know, it's knowledge is power. The more you know, the more the better off you are. So uh, we sitting there, and that's how you become. He who only does everything. Oh, God. <laughs> you ask questions. You you listen to what everyone has to tell you. 
That's, take it in. Yeah. And do it yourself. <clears throat> he who knows everything has spoken. But after the uh, class, you know, Mayhem stood there at the tavern and I bought him a drink because he bought me something. And all of a sudden, I'm going to get a cup because I got a water in there and the water was not cold. So I went to get a cup to get some ice. And also, I look to see Brian look up and he like, seriously? Like, <laughs> really? And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? So I turn around and I'm thinking there's somebody famous in a LARPing business. And honestly, it kind of was. Yeah. But actually, it made our day so much better. Brian, who was it? I turned around. And it was no one else but Korsgaard himself walking through that door. And it's like, how the fuck did he get here? Cor- yeah, he doesn't <laughs> drive. Korsgaard is the co-leader of Blood Pack. So I'm like, what? How'd you get here? Because I know he doesn't drive. <clears throat> and he was like, yeah, the other guys, they brought, we're all here. Uh, it had no, no messages on my phone about, hey, we're on our way up. Nothing. I had no idea. It was a surprise. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and when Chorus Guard came in, boy, we got happy. Oh, yeah. We got happy. And, like, he comes walking up to me, and he's like, Balmoose, I got something for you. That was awesome. Like, first thing, like, he reaches into his backpack, and he pulls out this case, and he hands me this case that I'm reaching back behind me to grab right now. This a nice little zipper case. Uh, as soon as as soon as the case touches my hand, it's gone. It's taken out of my hand, and we'll get to that guy later. Jerk. <laughs> Which I love him to death. God, he's the best. I love him. Um, he took wait. my damn phone while I was sitting on the on the <laughs> I, bench I know, trying to right? figure out where you were. Oh, I can't wait to go down to Naples. Me too. I'm gonna take his life. <laughs> so. In a good uh, way. And I'm like, so, uh, Corsgar, what was in that case that I was? previously holding and uh if you guys remember uh i believe this is when i got the moniker the guy who does everything or whatever and it was because i had i bought some whistles like some tin whistles made out of bamboo so bamboo whistles i don't know what they're called when they're not made out of tin um from the renaissance fair and they suck i mean they're fun and they look cool but they suck they're hard to play so Korsgar brought me two pretty friggin' legit uh, tin whistles. They're not metal. They're still plastic. But... They look wood. I'm pretty excited. And that, this is all I played yet. That, all day Sunday, I was just playing, playing this. That. Yeah, all day. And uh, so that was awesome. I was like, oh, where's everybody else at? And they were unpacking. They were going to set up the... Set up at the camp and. And let me tell you, when they all got here, we set at camp. We literally had the best camp at that moment because everybody started coming to our camp and just hanging with us. Oh yeah, because we were the only ones with like an in-game camp anyway. Right. Because anyone else who kind of had anything like that had cabins. <laughs> well, they had tents that was like on the other side of the whole property. So right. Basically, our camp was on the battlefield. Yeah, we were, like. 30 feet from the main spawn point on the far side of the battlefield. Right. And that that just became our day just like that's so much better. Yeah. Well, they went, like once I spent like an hour getting them signed in and getting their entry fees paid for, like getting the money to the right people, getting waivers signed and all that. And then uh, they went to go play. They went to go fight. And then uh, I'm still trying to get witnesses for the waivers and find out what to do with them. And I sit down with, um, oh, I don't know his game name. I uh, feel bad. I've had so many people. It's a lot of names, man. Yeah, I know. A lot of people, a lot of names. I'll learn them. I, I, I definitely got to learn names. I'm you know I'm looking them up right now because I don't I'd rather not use people's real names on here. Um, okay, that's what I thought it was, but because there could be a couple of vari- like letter variations. Caven, right? The the guy who's running security. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I ended up sitting with him for a while. He was teaching me how to use the orc, which is the online record keeper, mm. and how to make sure everyone's getting the, their credits and. 
uh, how to just make sure everything's ran right. He sent me a tutorial. Um, I'm still waiting on my login. I haven't got that yet. But we're on there. I looked it up. I have. I got my credit for the day. Nice. So, I, I'm going to try. I don't know if I have to add the players to the park or what. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, but, yeah, I was sitting with him. I met... I met up again with guys and a couple other of the Shadowcrest guys, and they were telling me this whole elaborate plan that they're going to enact at their park. And I was like, oh, I hope you don't mind if I steal that. And he's like, no, please steal it. And I don't know if I told you this at all, um, but the one guy, uh, like he, he walked away and he came back, and he had these two cups. And mind you, it's like... 76 78 degrees outside and we're still we're out we're just in like a covered area with screen around it um not air conditioning or anything and he brought he got himself and his friend a hot chocolate because mm. they had the keurig thing set up oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and his friend uh the guy that was um uh, oh i already looked him up his game name is not on facebook so um Rowan's guy that was with him like the whole time. Right, right. The guy with like the Gamson and the other he had the, the black and the red and the, yeah, the sword. Yeah. That guy. Uh he was like, I don't I don't really drink hot chocolate. And the guy was like, Well, uh uh do do you want hot chocolate? I was like, Ah, sure, thank you. So I got a hot chocolate. <laughs> so you left me hanging for fucking two hours and you had hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I had hot chocolate. Damn. Um but he was, uh, guys, he, he's about to be the monarch for, um, I think the technic- the actual term is sheriff. I'm not sure if they're a barony or not, but basically the monarch of their park. And he's got this idea, the idea I'm going to steal, and uh, to bring, to help bring role-playing back to the game. Because it's real fight-heavy in general, no matter where you go, really. Mm-hmm. Um, so people are, everyone tries hard to bring back the role play aspect of it, but it doesn't happen organically. Like you, you kind of have to force it, but this, his idea so far has been the most organic way to bring it about. Basically he created a map and on the map in the middle is Shadowcrest and that's their, their Shire, Baron, whatever they are. I think that actually I think they are a barony, um, so congratulations to you guys because that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're in the middle, and then all around is just like fantasy map. There's roads, there's rivers, there's bridges, there's forest, there's like goblin encampments and stuff like that, and I guess the way he says he's going to run things and the way I'm going to try to do it too. Is on the park day, the park gets split up, two teams, the teams fight, the team that wins gets to choose a quest to do, and then they look at the map, and the example he gave me, he said if they have to recover the, they have to take a dragon egg from the mountains and bring it back, he showed me on the map, he's like, they would start here in the middle, in Shadowcrest. And they would take this road, and there's a bridge here, and when you when you get to the bridge, you would go do a bridge battle, which is a, a game type. That anyone who does this kind of gaming, real, they know what it is. Mm-hmm. Basically, it's two sides are fighting, and you mark out a bridge on the ground, and you can't cross those lines. And, you know, you would do that battle. To cross the bridge. And then, you know, you keep going. And if you run into the the dark forest, you would roll a dice to see what you encounter. And uh, if there's a monster, there's rules for playing as monsters. And your, your quest party would have to defeat them. And if you roll up on a goblin encampment, you roll the dice to see if you just get to keep on walking. If you have to fight them. If you have to play them in something called Goblin Ball, which I don't know what that is, but it sounds fun. Or if you have to feed them. 
Mm-hmm. And I've got a feeling if you have to feed them, I think you really got to go get some food and actually feed these people that are playing the goblins. Because um, that's just kind of how this game goes. Um, and I'm just like, man, that is fucking genius. Like, it, it literally writes itself. Now, if, let's say, in a few months' time, there's another quest that involves going to the mountains, they should do the same things. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, like, I was like... It's really yeah. simple, too. It, yeah, like, that's <laughs> the great thing. The hardest thing is going to be coming up with the list of things you have to do when you encounter each thing. But sure, I, even, well, I would even, think the hard thing would be getting the people to be the the NPCs. I think that's the losing team for the day. For the day? Because, like, the beginning of the day, the he's, the part gets split up and the two teams fight. Oh. And the winning team chooses the quest. Gotcha. I, that part got skipped in my brain for okay. some reason. Yeah, and I think the losing team has to be the NPCs. For the entire day? I think. I don't know. Oh, okay. But we're, we're going to... Uh, I added them on Facebook, like, immediately... Um, like on the way home, we stopped for drinks and I found them <laughs> while Brooks went in to get drinks. I found guys on Facebook and added them cause we're going to, we're going to keep in contact to let each other know like what's working, what's not working. Um, he told me the website he used to make his map map look really freaking cool. I was like, I was going to use Photoshop, but cause like I could whip out a map in Photoshop, no problem. But like, I guess this is super easy. So I'm just going to do that. I think it's called like Ink Carta or something. It sounds you like doing with all that work you've been doing. Yeah, just take pictures of cool looking fantasy things and do. All I that thought work. about that too, but yeah. I guess this is ma- like it is a map making app basically. Yeah, I guess you would just you need to see how limited it is because you could do more unique stuff. With yeah, what you do. I he said it's pretty good, so I'll see yeah. if I need to add more. I can. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> at least get a good base going. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to work on that. The also, also the other big, big fucking deal we need to do, and we need to do quick, and I'm getting tired of people dragging their feet on, <clears throat> if you're listening, <clears throat> we need to pick our first official park day and get that started, because it's, we're going to do every other Sunday morning, because the minimum you have to do is two park days a month. Don't, the, don't you guys meet on Wednesday? We do, but that's... Like, that's not, like, an official thing. Let's but, talk about it off show. Yeah, <laughs> and there's some there's some concern with that. And, like, I... Well, no, we can talk about it now, actually. Okay. Um, like, it, like it, that was our DAG practice. Yeah. And I don't want to take a DAG practice away from people if that's what they want. But... When I was talking to Lance last night, he's like, "Well, mm-hmm. why don't <laughs> he's like, why don't we make that an amp guard day as well?" I'm not sure who this Lance is. Rhaegar. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, God damn, son. So he's the one that's he's the one that's pushing it. So <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> so I was. He said, "Why don't we make it a like an amp guard day too?" And I was like, "If that's what people want, and if we're allowed to have." two a week or whatever when we do the every other Sunday I'm so sure you know there's requirements for it to be a quote unquote park day and for you to get your credits um so I was like if we do that we have to make sure we follow you know the guidelines for that but they're not hard to follow so I was like if that's what people if people want that let them have it I don't don't care yeah like the more park days we can get in the better um so so that's still gonna happen but it's not necessarily gonna be amp guard it might just be fight practice that's what i would think yeah but if people want it to be like an amp guard day where we do a few hours on a wednesday night oh by all means yeah like i'm i'm all for it i hope that's what people want but I'm not going to push that. But I am pushing every other Sunday morning. Because, I mean, Saturday people want to do, like, a lot of us have families and stuff. So we want to do stuff with our families on Saturday. So we just can't go too crazy. And so we can be ready for Sunday morning. 
and just we're gonna meet at the park, do a few hours there, hang out. I've got stuff to like help promote while we're at the park, like the banner I was talking about. Uh, and we were like actively trying to draw members in, because when we were Blood Pack in Dag, they're like, yeah, we don't really need anybody else. We're good. Uh, realistically, they knew need like two or three more people, like active, decent fighters, but. Uh, they're like, oh, we're happy where we're at. And they're starting to realize they do need more people. But with this, it's like, yeah, why don't we... This gives us people more of an opportunity to pull people into the game itself. Not necessarily to Blood Pack, because that's, like, that's something different. You don't want just anybody in that. But to draw people into the game in general, like, so I've been handing out flyers, I've got business cards... Got a banner, got all kinds of stuff. Open Facebook group, because the other one, like the unit one is closed. Um, so not anyone can see what, because that's where we go to talk our shit, you know. That's where we go to vent. Um, or chat. <laughs> so. Because you, you have to have that. Uh, oh, I got off, way off track. <laughs> <laughs> so what were we talking about? Mark. Uh, Alright, the guy showed up. Yeah. Oh, I did all the... Uh, you did all the paperwork and... Yeah, stuff so, like that. so I go back out to camp, and uh, there's a really cool couple hanging out with with the, with the our unit. Um, I don't think I caught their game names either. Uh, his name was like Carl or something. I, I've added them too. Um, right. And uh, super cool... Uh, hung out with them for a little bit and while we were just kind of waiting on feasts because all the fighting was done. And we were just sitting there and hung out for like an hour or so. And someone came over because we were like, oh, when is feast going to be ready? We're so hungry. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, man, I was freaking starving. And this guy came over and uh, I think he was important. Like, I think he was, uh, he had a role for the weekend. A crat is what they're called. Like, they have... The autocrats are the people who are running the event. They have the feastcrats who are the people working in the kitchen. Um, the warcrats, the people running the games. Uh, I think he was a crat of some, some sort. I'm not sure. Uh, but he comes up. And he's got to kind of walk out of his way. Because we are kind of way away from everything. Um, but he comes up and he's like, Hey, just so you know, you guys might want to go get a table in the feast hall. Because people are... Uh, People are starting to set up and claim their tables. And uh, so we're like, okay, cool. Thanks for letting us know. So me and me and Brooks go in. and Did I talk about this on the podcast or did I talk about it before we were recording? I forgot. About going in to get the table. And yeah, you said something about that. Right. I said it on the, yeah. on the That's show. what I was thinking. Okay. Somebody took that's the when, chairs. That's when, that's when we walked in and we saw all the stuff on the table. People no, were, when we walked in, like people had like feasts stuff yeah, yeah i talked about that yeah, we talked about it. um but yeah so we go in we pick our table and i was like and there's like one person sitting down i was like well, we don't need to wait in here and we go out uh the the side door and it just overlooks this just incredible lake and the sun is setting and we're standing there and we're we're talking i don't remember i think we're talking about bigfoot or something and, it's uh, not Bigfoot, you do. it's called the Skunk Ape. It's a goddamn Sam Squinch. Whatever. Goddamn Sam Squinch! I was gonna do I was gonna do that chick's laugh, but I can't even oh. I can't even imitate it. No, don't do that. She's no. awesome though. Yeah, she's so her so and her husband cool. are awesome. They came over to the camp and it was like we was at a club. Yeah. You know, everybody we all sitting down just talking about old times, good times, new times. Yeah, sad times, and we just had a great time. Oh, we get to hang out with them more too. They there, said, they, they cool. said, just hit them up on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And they'll come up and join us. Yeah, I added them, which is cool. Mm-hmm. They're from West Palm Beach, and they would drive all the way from West Palm Beach just to be a part of crew. Yeah, yeah, they were real. That's cool. that's how the stuff is. It's it's awesome, man. Everybody love each other. Everybody in it to be in it. Yep. Yeah, and they were talking about going up to South Carolina for. Uh, Winter, I think they were talking about going to Winter War. And uh, our 
the other the unit member our unit members are talking about maybe going but if they if both sets of people are going they, they're probably gonna go I'm not going that's too far for me to go and, plug uh, me in if you would if your phone's not dead is your uh, phone dead? all the no, pantomime freaking... <laughs> for nothing <laughs> I don't sound like my son I ain't did 15 years I want you to take sexy mm. pictures of me oh god <laughs> Just plug my phone in, please. Um, Brian, please continue. I'm trying. Boy, he was a freaking top. <laughs> all right. Girl, so we talked about Feast, right? We talked yeah, about yeah, all that. Yeah, we talked about Feast. That was Ben's first thing. That was good Did you talk about we, Feast, though? Did we talk about Feast? You know what we didn't mention during Feast? Feast? Was uh, our guys left after uh, they ate. And they didn't get seconds. They didn't get seconds. Oh, the pie. Okay. Oh, we forgot about the pie. I was just getting there. Okay. But no, there's um, the last event we went to. My first actual big event, my first camp out. Um, tickets were slightly cheaper by a dollar or two. But there was no feast. And now, uh, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I was like, alright, fine. You know, whatever. I mean, we had plenty of food. I wasn't worried about that. But from all the stories I heard, feast is where all the fun stuff happens. Everyone's hanging out, partying, having a good time, and that's really what brought me back in. I was like, yeah, I wanna, I wanna did party they, with people. Did they cater? Did they make everything? Or a lot of they things. Made everything. No, you know, you were talking about the video and everything, and everything you were talking about with that, and I was like, oh, you get awards for that, that for cooking. Yeah. Like it's all like everything well, is super awards based. That's something I can do. I know it is. <laughs> like, if you wanted to get into it, you could definitely be one of those Here's guys. Here's the other question, who pays for it? I'm not sure. Gryffindor. Yeah. You do, motherfucker. Gryffindor. <laughs> no, okay. Wrong right. LARP. This could be 10,000% wrong, but I think you put in a bid for how much you could do feast for, or whatever meal you're cooking for, for, for feast. And then I think they choose who... Now, like I said, it could be a thousand percent wrong. No, well, the meal we had must have came straight out of wood. It was straight delicious pork. And I think, I think you bang, get bang, it, bang. and I think you get reimbursed for it if it's good. No, I think. You just <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure you just get reimbursed. Like I this think, shit nasty, throw I, I could be wrong. Like I, they this might is pay for it. Probably how front. it works. But yeah, I, I know it doesn't all Did come you out say of your it's pocket. A nonprofit. Yes. That's how like VFWs and stuff sometimes work. Yeah, it's like I know you're not paying for it all out of your own pocket, and it's like that's what that's what you're paying. Like that's part of what you're paying to get in. But you for. are doing the work. Oh yeah, you're you're putting the work in. And Rowan, the guy we were talking to, he I think he said he's fifty one. Yeah, he up in the fifties. Fifty one or fifty two. Don't come kick my ass, Rowan, but you old. <laughs> but you old badass. I know you don't like me saying that, but I said it anyway. But yeah, like this dude, like from what I can tell, like in game. Like, he's Nightmaker. He, he's earned the title Nightmaker in Two Kingdoms. Like, superstar in the game. And we're, when we went in to get either seconds or dessert or something, um, I he was back there. He was doing dishes. They had to pull him out of the kitchen to you know, participate in the court that was happening because he had awards to receive. Um, he didn't even want the awards. He just wanted to help out. Yeah. So the people that served us food and did everything, they could go out there and enjoy it. He really do every do the labor so everybody else can enjoy the rest of the day. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. That and that's why he's well respected in the in the bar. Yeah. It's the little things that matters the most. Oh yeah, and that kind of stuff. That's that's what earns you the. Uh, I, like I said, I'm I'm still new to the game, so I don't know all the awards and how they all work. But I think it's the uh, Order of the Rose for, you know, helping clean up, helping, you know, Every time I hear it, I service. think about Bon Jovi. Why is that? Because I want to lay you down a bed of roses. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> not literally, not, I'm just saying, I want to lay yeah, you down. I know, I appreciate that. Okay. Um, he wasn't speaking to you. He was just yeah. saying lyric. Right. That's why I was speaking to him. Well, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, I know it's fine. I'm not going to judge. So, the way you're sitting right now, you judge or something. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, our guys leave. I'm just comfortable. So they missed seconds 
they missed dessert. Oh, what I was getting at was we went to an event and they skipped feast, which seemed to me, I could be wrong, um, uh, that seemed to have killed most of the socializ- socialization for the event. That and the weather. It was cold as fuck. But <clears throat> like this, everyone was together. I don't think there was anybody at this event that was not in the feast hall. There was... Uh, and from what I understand, uh, most feasts outside of Ampgard are like chili. Chili and cornbread. Cause, well, that makes sense. Yeah, because it's feeds easy. a lot. Yeah. But pulled pork, which is what you guys had? Yeah. That can also feed a lot of people, too, if you do it right. Right. But this was like, like, they didn't buy it. Everyone, everything was cooked. They had, um... Like, everything was labeled so you knew what was in everything as well. Um, pumpkin cheesecake. Yeah, then pumpkin cheesecake for fucking... Like literally dessert. ingredients? Yeah. Um, like, I, to an extent. Yeah. I but, mean, I was just going to say, if that's true, then that that tells you that it's, like, homemade. Yeah. Well, it was homemade. You yeah. can taste the homemade in it. Oh, yeah. That son sure. bitch wasn't bought that fuck was mm-hmm. That was homemade, son. My first bite, it was like you could taste the crust. Oh man! And oh, and oh, I tell you what, I, oh god! And we're sitting my, there, right? My damn diabetes shot fifty <laughs> points. I think that shit was it. Before, before we, uh, so, before we even start eating, uh, me and Brooks are sitting there, and as, as the uh, the rest of the crew comes pouring in, um, they're not only is there incredible food. But everyone, like, they're bringing around to each table. Each table got their own set of oh, barbecue sauces. sauces. Yeah, barbecue yeah, sauces. Yeah. And so basically we sat down and they gave us stuff. They gave us our sauces and everything. Yeah. And we just had to go get our food. And the guys who are legitimate Dagger Hair veterans are sitting there and they're like, we have been, what have we been doing? We, they brought us barbecue sauce three different barbecue sauces and like they saw the food and they're like what are we doing they, like, they was dumb they were, they were, they were, like they was in another world yeah they were. like it, it <laughs> this is something we've talked about a lot of times dag is like a sport it's just fighting yeah and you know it, it just keeps going more and more in that direction and even the stick jock people in our unit they want more now especially because we push hard for the role play stuff. Like we're all monster. I feel like at some point it's like, why don't you just go and play with a t-shirt and shorts? Yeah, jerseys or something. Yeah, it's uh, and that's where. It, I mean, there's that um, archery tag. Yes, thank archery? you. Yep. Yes, <laughs> yeah, which was fun as hell. Oh yeah, <laughs> but you could do that with LARP too. Yeah, it's just. I'm sure they do. Yeah, which LARP archery and. And uh, archery tag as well are both very expensive. Yeah, because I was gonna do archery and LARP. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Bow's about a hundred dollars. A dozen arrows about another hundred dollars. Hey, even that, because I could just use your bow, but it's just the yeah. arrows that are gonna kill me. Yep, they're still expensive. But I'm gonna learn to make them. I'm gonna turn out some bow, some arrows. I'm gonna buy a nicer bow, because I want to do archery. I'm just gonna film everything. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> You know what? Film everything. You're my cameraman. Get a Brooks. Why are you? I'm trying to find that. You can't take that away from me. That's fine. You can start editing everything. You can edit everything, bitch. <laughs> I don't know how to edit. Why have your tripod that I'm Premiere? <laughs> what you Premiere? Nothing? Premiere's the yeah. program I use. Oh, yeah. Well, see, I don't even know what you're talking about. See, you got to be a behind the scenes guy. That's I, I got to film shit, too. What the hell are you going to film? You behind the Brooks, scenes? we're going to have like five cameras. Calm down. Now, we, ain't, we ain't making like TMZ and shit now. Why? We want to keep it low production. One camera, one or two cameras. So everybody will be like, what the fuck is going on? I think it would be pretty cool if we had multiple cameras. We're going to have multiple cameras. Like going at one time. I'll go ahead and say it. We got an action cam coming. I'm psyched as fuck for that thing. We can Whatever. strap that on. Oh. I am tripod. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and you hate the tripod. They gave me the name. I can't get rid of it. 
And I do hate tripod, but what if you give we give you a bipod? Let's not that go on really subject. Confuse them. Hmm? Gents. Let's continue on. Oh, I'm sorry, I just saw the uh, they just posted the the finances from the event. Really? Is that something we can talk about? But that's like interesting shit to me. It's it's open. Oh, Everything okay. is open. So how does that work? Um they just they're every, they're super transparent with how everything's ran. Um their their total expenses for the event two thousand six hundred and twenty four dollars and forty three cents. Damn. The incoming funds um three thousand four hundred and eighty dollars and ninety eight cents. What what does incoming mean? Like the gate fees. Okay, wow. Uh, profit from the event one thousand one hundred and fifty six dollars and fifty five cents. And then uh, the first comment on this the post on Facebook about it is that's a pretty big profit. And apparently, well, I guess for this it is. For this, yes. Yeah, okay. like for like a store. No, I was not. saying. Eh. Yeah. But like for for like, a business, not really. Yeah, for a business, no. But for but this, for a thousand hundred fifty six dollars to go towards the next event, that's yeah. Yeah. Because so, they're non profit. Yep. It is a non profit organization. That's, uh, you know, thousand hundred something dollars for, well, I guess renting. I imagine this campsite costs money. I yeah it does. Mm-hmm. I heard somebody say that it was surprisingly very affordable though. Huh. Now I don't know what that means. Yeah, but they said the the price to rent this place was shocking, which is also a great thing because it's. Well, I mean, that probably answers our question about do you have to pay for the food? I would say no. They probably give you, yeah, you like you said a bid. Mm-hmm. You say I'll do it for two hundred bucks. He'll order. Here's what I'll make, and they'll yeah, that guy. We'll go with that guy. Yeah, and now you see, I, I'm sure I've talked about it on one of the shows before. Um, the Ampgard Leadership University videos. There is one specifically on uh, feast, feast preparation. Yeah, that's something I'd be interested in. Let's uh, help it out with. You should watch it because it's it's just interesting to see how they do it. That's how I heard about the bidding process. And there's, there's actually a, because there's companies, which are like fighting units, but there's also households, and I think there's a household called Rogers Raiders, and they do the, um... Uh, Brooks is taking a nap. No, not too hard. Uh, oh. <laughs> but I, I, they were talking about it on this Amgard Leadership University, Rogers Raiders, and I think they do, like, they focus on Feast. Like, that's their deal. Okay. And the guy in the video said he's been a part of Rogers Raiders for 20 years. <laughs> like, that's awesome. And apparently they're known for showing up with, like, I don't I don't think they're in Florida, but, like, the events they go to, they're known for showing up with, like, their, like, smokers, their own smokers, like, their own kitchen stuff. And I've wanted my own smoker forever. I know, me too. <laughs> I don't cook, but I would love to smoke some I have some to take food. my girl home. Go ahead. Where's the grill? It's right out there. Okay, good. You get so, yelled at if I don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that thing's been here since the hurricane. Mm-hmm. But you can go watch those hurricane videos. Yeah, those are fun. Um, So, we did Feast. We watched Court. We witnessed Court, where the Queen got up and... Um, Is it Judge Judy? <laughs> nope, Queen Grumpy. Um, she, Grumpy? Grumpy, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um... I talked to her. I ended up actually getting to talk to her, not dropping and busting bottles, trying to talk to her um, a couple times throughout the day. And uh, she stood up and presented she had a whole list of people. She was presenting all these people with their scrolls of their uh, rewards, awards for... Uh, um, service for crafting for fight chivalry was one of the ones I was like oh that's cool the order of the griffin uh, someone actually I think it was one of the uh, shadow Christ guys the guy I can't remember his name sorry guy you were really cool though 
but I think he he was awarded the his an order of the Griffin for because someone noticed that if he disarmed somebody, he would let them pick their weapon up, yeah. and just being overall chivalrous on the battlefield, like and because all these are, uh, everyone can submit uh, <laughs> people for different awards for different things that they did, which actually. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. Um, there's somebody I want to... Uh, there's a couple people I want to suggest. But I'll get to that in a little bit. Then, but we did that. We saw the uh, the office, all the office change hands, except for the, the Prime Minister, because I think the Prime Minister changes during mid-reign. I could be wrong. I'm still trying to figure it out. But well, we saw the queen step down. We saw the king, the new king, King Calvo, uh, come into power. He announced the theme for his reign, which is the... The Jingle Bells theme. The Jingle Bells. <laughs> is the quest for the holy garb. Because there are a lot of people who wear traditional, regular garb. But there's also a lot of people who wear bright-ass, neon, crazy-ass color garb. And I was so confused when I f- saw it for the first time. Um, I'm a traditionalist. Even though my, my garb is very, very bright, it's still fairly traditional. <laughs> loud. No, Cat. It isn't loud. Cat, be quiet. And then uh, we saw the new regent come in, who, who we met before, and she's really cool. And she also forgot my last name. That's right. Something I heard it. We'll have to talk about off show. Mm-hmm. I I've been thinking about my garb, and I really want to do. Uh, oh my god, why did it just escape my mind? Destiny two. Uh, oh my god. Destiny two garb. Just oh my fucking god! The fucking there. Okay, in Destiny two, there are these group of the original guardians. And they are basically knights. They have knight armor. Mm-hmm. I just... <laughs> I'm lost. I can't think of what they're called. I want to do armor like that. Oh. Where it's like... It's not it's not sci-fi. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a lot of armor, but with also with a lot of cloth. Like it's okay. It's kind of light armor almost. All right, we'll look it up and see what we can do. Because uh, you can make armor out of non-period material... In this game. So it could be made out of plastic. Okay. As long as it looks like armor. But then we also saw the uh, the kingdom champion come into come into office. Who we met also at Falling Fire. We met all the new officers at Falling Fire. And he was very, very cool. Very he made some killer ass brownies at Falling Fire. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, rich, 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 and I don't eat chocolate, but he gave me one, and oh my goodness. It was like a chocolate-covered cherry brownie. Once you go back, oh, you, you guys talked about that back. on that show. Yeah, I think he called them cherry bombs. Yeah, something like that. Damn. Damn. Cherry chocolate bombs, so. They were good. It's like, one, you bite no things, and it's like, once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> and, uh, like, he he showed me, like, a lot of the, the fighting stuff. Um, he was the guy who was like, admittedly, yeah, we're a bunch of stick jocks over here, but if you want to learn to fight, come on down. So, so um, it was cool to see everyone we met at our first thing, actually, like we met some important people. And it's like, they remember us. That's the cool thing about it. Yeah. They remember us. Yep. I'm, I'm going to like, I got to meet new people. They ain't going to remember me. Go cool crap. They look at you. Oh, hey, I remember you, man. And that's awesome. It just mm-hmm. you, you feel like you belong in there if you if you do something to make yourself known. Uh, yeah, I have to go to the next one. It's in, it's incredible. They're gonna be like tripod bombers. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm the guy running it actually, <laughs> or running the entertainment part of it. <laughs> and then then we got to see something that apparently is pretty rare, and only happens about every two two and a half years or so. We got to witness a knighting, which was pretty awesome. Once again, another guy we met at Falling Fire. Mm-hmm. Um, 
which I'll get to that in a second because that was pretty. That's a neat little story. But we we witnessed his whole ceremony. And it was really really cool. Um, and at the end, uh, like all the knights line up and like uh, punch him, hug him, congratulate him, and then he walks through an archway of swords. Because when you get knighted, you're presented a few things, and a sword is one of them. So all the knights line up. They do, like, the sword archway, and he walks through. And I believe it was the king announces anyone else who would like to congratulate him, go ahead and line up and do so. And Brooks is like, you gonna go, you gonna go say something? I'm like, I don't know. We only met him that one time, and it was real quick, and I don't know. We'll see. And the line started to die down, and we were like, yeah, we should. Let's go say something. Let's go congratulate him, because it's a big deal. It's a, it's a really, really big deal. It takes a long time. It, it From what I understand, it takes like 10 years. Like, 10 years is pretty quick to be knighted. So, I was like, yeah, let's, uh, let's go congratulate him at least. And uh, we're in line. Actually, we're right behind uh, the new champion for the kingdom. And, like... He congratulates him and everything. And, like, they all know him. Apparently, um, <clears throat> Pumpkin Jack is super well-known and super cool, obviously, as you'll find out. But, uh, so we're next in line, and Brooks is like, what are you going to say to him? I'm like, oh, you, I, don't, I don't really know. You know, I'm going to tell him, you know, we met you at Fallen Fire at their Crown Claws. And you were real tired, and everyone told, everyone said I needed you were the guy to talk to about starting a park, uh, but you apologized because you were super tired. You drove all the way from Georgia on like no sleep, and you couldn't. You wanted help, but you just couldn't because you were so tired. And we were like, that's fine. Don't worry about it because we already had. We we've just we've been absorbing so much information. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> and so we're next up in line. And I'm like, yeah, I, the, I'll tell him that. And as soon as the guy moves out of the way, like, this dude's face, the the knight, the guy who's just knighted, so now he is Sir Duke. I don't know if you remember that, but he also got the title of Duke. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Sir Duke Pumpkin Jack. Um... His face lights up when he sees us. He's like, oh, it's you guys. Yeah, that, that was and, awesome, too. And I was like, he, he's fucking with us. And he's like, oh, it's you guys. I remember you guys from Falling Fires. I'm sorry I was so tired then, but I drove all the way from Georgia. And, like, everything I was going to tell him, like, he told me back. <laughs> I was like, how does one, this guy was, he was there for, like, an entire event, met us for, like, minutes. Like, no no more than, like, like 10 right, or 15 minutes. All right, guy, you ruined my fucking speech to you. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, remember... The cool thing about uh, everything he had to go through. Yeah. You know, that getting knighted, you know, getting punched, and yeah. going through the, the spinning night and all that stuff, and just plain old man, you go in there, and he lights up. It's and like, he oh, was, I remember you. Oh, my God. He, that, that's awesome, man. Like, he was more excited to see us than, like... Then we understood what was going on. I kind of wanted to punch him. <laughs> I kind of did too, just because everyone else got to. But, like... Boy, people were punching him? The, the knights, when you get knighted, all the other knights punch you. It's a thing. How many knights are there? Uh, there were, like, eight. Enough to leave you a oh. fucking bruise. <laughs> and, uh, and, like, he gave us hugs and everything. And he's like, Any time, if you need anything, please let me know. And, like, I've... Somehow, I've ended up seeing a bunch of old posts. I don't know if it's because I've added a bunch of people, and for some reason, like, all that stuff's coming up. Like, years old. But apparently... Well, no one knows how Facebook works, so who yeah, the fuck I knows? can't figure it out. <laughs> um, but apparently, he's done a lot of really great things. So, for... <laughs> and he was that excited to see us again. So... And we had an encounter with him, just, like, right as we were leaving. He was, like, the last person we talked to. And it was great. Like, Sir Pumpkin Jack is up there. He's on my, my top five people for Amp Guard right now. Because uh, they're all so cool. I'm not going to... They're all equally tied. <laughs> um, 
And then, but, and I've been putting this guy aside. I've been talk, saying I'd talk about him. He's getting his own damn segment. <laughs> Billy. Let's oh, talk about uh, Billy for a little bit. Billy, Billy. Okay, so everyone <laughs> might not be tied. <laughs> Billy might be number one. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, Billy not only uh, spent so much time with us at Falling Fire, you know, giving us as much information as he could. Mm-hmm. Um, he helped get all of the guys who showed up late because uh, the gate was closed. So we had to track down the papers, track down the people to pay, and all that. So he was, like, infinitely helpful with that. Uh, anytime we needed something from Tavern and there was nobody up there, we would, like, Billy would take care of us. Right. Uh, like, we'd give him the money, he'd go get it for us. Like That was, uh, that was nice of him to do that, too. Yeah. And not only that, but he's just super fucking cool. Like, we've gotten pretty close with him just by being around him for two days. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we were leaving, he was, like, the number one person we had to make sure we saw before we left. And uh, he ended up being the last person we saw. Uh, and we were hunting him down. We couldn't find him. But we eventually found him and Pumpkin Jack. And... Her name starts with an R here. Her in-game name starts with an R, and she's a fairy, and she was really, really cool. And we are talking about hakas and how next time we're all going to get together, and we're all going to do a haka together, and they were so into it. They were so fucking excited. They made my night even better when everybody got fired up for the haka. Yeah, like, they wanted to do it so bad. Oh, I, I, I did a little bit of it, but... Yeah, for a second, and he he got so excited. Oh, man. But he was getting a back massage at the same time. He's like, I'm so conflicted right now. <laughs> Just to really quickly tell you, I thought of you two the other day because I was playing Pokemon. And the new Pokemon game takes place on a group of islands. Mm-hmm. And there's a new thing called a Z-Power Ring. And it's basically you give like a fire p- stone to a fire Pokemon. Yeah. Turns one of their fire moves into a Z-Power. Mm-hmm. But in order to do the Z-Power, the trainer has to do like a... Like a haka? Yes. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I, I do want to play the new Pokemon Whenever you game. beat a, uh, they're called captains now? Mm-hmm. Instead of like gym leaders? Yes, there's no more gym leaders in this one. Mm-hmm. It's captains or there's something underneath them? Yes, captains, because the, the gym leader, I would say, is, that's been replaced is now a, a uh, oh my god, a, a like an island elder. Okay. Oh, not a haka, uh... Whatever it's called. But whenever you beat a captain, and I think the leader of the island, they give you a Z-Crystal. Hmm. So that the gym badges are now a usable item, basically, in the game. Okay. Because that's, that's what gives cool. you your Pokemon the special abilities. Yeah, they have to do a Haka. And I realized that when I was like, I'm going to fucking do a Haka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every time you, they give you a Crystal, they're like, oh, by the way. And they start showing you how to do it. Huh. And then every time you use the move, your trainer does it. That's cool. Yeah, I, you I should one hundred percent play those games. Uh, but the Pokemon games are always so expensive. Uh, forty bucks, yeah. Yeah, I know. One hundred percent worth it. I put like forty Probably. hours into mine already. I didn't want it, mainly for the Alolan Sandshrew and Sandslash. I can't get that because I have Sun. I have so to get I Bob to get it for me. Moon. You have to get Moon. Because I they were one of the in the originals. You, they were only on blue. The Alolan so I only versions blue. are awesome. Like I of all my Pikachu, mm-hmm. uh, it's a Raichu. A motherfucker has a giant tail and he's it, standing it, on it. Yeah, and he surfs on it, right? And I'm like, uh, that's weird. And it's like, oh, Raichu, it's psychic and electric. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. What the hell are we talking about? Pokemon. Oh. Hey, Pokemon. It's, it is it fucking right. fantastic. You need to play it. I will. I'm sure I will. Um, but so yeah, we went, uh, and we all like we we went and we hunted down uh, guys to make sure we said goodbye to him, the pirate guy, and uh, Rowan as well. He was the first person we tried to say goodbye to, and we ended up talking to him for like half an hour, and someone came up to him and like whispered something or something I couldn't hear. He's like, I'm sorry, guys, I gotta go. There's a paging about to happen. P- 
paging is there's um we witnessed a um a guy choose his squire he did that in front of uh right either before or after the the court happened mm -hmm. and then um but someone from uh i'm pretty sure it was still the shadow crest guys yeah. Yeah. yeah uh one of the knights in shadow crest was choosing a page which is just someone underneath the knight. You know, page, man-at-arms, squire. Um, and he's like, there's a paging about to happen. I have to go. I have to, be, I have to be there for this. I really want to be there for this. And we're like, oh, okay, cool. And he's like, you know, you know come on. What, what am I doing? Come on, you come with me. <laughs> so he brought us with him to, to experience it. And it was really emotional for some people that were out there. And it was pretty cool. Cool to see. It's cool to see people who get that passionate about something. Is that like almost on the level of being knighted? It's your first step. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like you don't have to be, you don't have to go through those steps. Sure. But it helps immensely from what I understand. And she was like, she was, I, I think she had just like turned 18. And like I saw her fight and she was an archer. And like she was doing pretty good. She was pretty good at it. So... And, like, she was excited and emotional, and it was, it was cool. It was cool to witness. And then, uh, that's when we really started to work our way out of there. And, uh, I'm glad we broke down everything and then went back. Like, we packed up the car and then went back to say goodbye to everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's when all that stuff happened. Um, it was, it was, it turned from the worst day to... The, Better than I could have even imagined. Like, it was so cool. When's the next one? Uh, the big kingdom event is going to be mid-May, I think they said. And they're going to try to get it back in the same spot. Okay, that's right. You did tell me about that. And okay. that's going to be mid-rain. Seems that's... like you guys just went to an Amphard event. That was... Each, um, each park has their own coronation... Mid rain, okay. um, but then then the kingdom does it. So we were also Billy invited us down to Naples when they do their coronation. I don't Are know we if we gonna have a coronation. Well, uh, yeah, we will. Is it gonna be on this size of, or this this level? Yeah. No, no, it's just like our... a lot of people will come, or uh, there probably will be extra people that show I mean, up. I'll probably do the food then. Okay. Yeah. Like, that would be... Actually, if you did that, that would probably be really, really good. Yeah. Um, is he on the screen right now? He's not. Uh, but the guy... the We met the uh, monarch for uh, Nod Rama, which is Orlando. He invited us to come out. And we'd already been invited out to his park by uh, Kaven. Uh, who, actually, he's that guy right there. The, the bald guy with the yellow sash and the white okay. shirt. Um... He invited us out, um, and we were already planning to go, but then uh, this guy invited us out, and he's like, make sure you let me know in advance when you guys are coming, uh, and he's like, you know, bring people with you, and I'll make sure, I'll make sure to cook for you guys, too, so we were like, oh, yeah, <laughs> you know, cool, so, like, if we could, if we have that kind of stuff going on, also, when when we do when like coronation and stuff happens, we need to also be doing arts and science competitions. Yeah. And part of that is cooking. Yeah. You can enter. You enter food as well. Um, like the the that guy had those brownies. Oh, killer! But because uh, it's not just arts and crafts, it's also cooking, and I think it's also like bard stuff, like performance stuff, and so. I think we're making the right choice with this game, and it's going to be... There's infinite possibilities for it. Seems like it. So, <clears throat> I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I think our numbers right now already are pretty awesome. And we can only... like We'll, we'll probably only go up from here, because we're going to push to get more people. More people. More people to fight, and more people to craft stuff. More people to host stuff. <clears throat> Jeremy the host Brooks. So <laughs> he gone. <laughs> um, so 
yeah, that was, I think we covered, I think I covered everything. I probably talked for 18 hours, so. <laughs> did, An hour did, and 34 did, minutes. Did I miss anything? No, pretty much, pretty much everything that happened. You so know, I gotta tell you guys was, about uh, Destiny. <laughs> Just kidding. It was a crappy day made it to a perfect day. Yeah. I think they're called the Iron Wolves. Huh? The Iron Wolves. I think that's what the Destiny group is called that are knights. So I do something along that line. I'll have to show you. We'll look it up. I was talking about the Destiny thing I couldn't remember earlier. Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, I'm going to be... This is like the big devotion thing for me now is I've got to get the part up and going. So and Brian it. Yep. <laughs> so I've got to get tons of extra weapons built, tons of extra garb made. Uh, yeah, I, don't make me do it all, guys. If you're listening, <laughs> help, help, help. Help. I mean, I, I can I do it all? Yeah, don't don't make me do it all. Like. Yeah, I know. I I can build weapons. I'm not the best. I'm not the best at anything, though. That's the thing. I'm absolutely not the best at anything, but I can do everything. Have you seen my Photoshop and shit? Like, I can do it. I can edit this, (laughs) and I can make videos, and I can make websites. I'm not great at any of it. (laughs) I think I'm... I'm right there with you. I think I'm pretty good with my Photoshop skills. I gotta say, though... Now... Congratulations to the person who won the actual banner competition. Um, I do know who you are, but I can't remember your name. Um, and I don't know if I... I know who you are. <laughs> okay. Uh, points. But congratulations. But And her, hers was good. Hers was pretty good. Hers was the one that if anyone beat me, I wanted it to be that one. Uh, Because one was awfully plain, and the other one was, it was good, but it was a little weird. I mean, the concept is a little weird as well, though, so it kind of made sense. But I really impressed myself. talking portion of the podcast for Brian. Yeah, (laughs) so. But congratulations on winning, and I'm just glad that my, my picture is going up as the banner for the... Summer Coronation, which is going to be the end of the Holy, the quest for the Holy Garb. Nice. So it'll be the last, this is the picture for the final event. I don't know what he's going to go on about over there. He's lost his goddamn mind. Probably just, probably just me. He's either something on his phone or me. Go ahead, go ahead. What are you um, laughing at? Tell everyone, the audience wants to know now. This has nothing to do with what we're talking about. I right? know. I, I realize that. What are you laughing about? Nothing. Don't do that. Come on. Go ahead, Brian. What are you laughing about? So, a video, Jacob. This is like a classroom thing. What are you no, laughing about? Not. Come to the front of the class, class and tell everyone. Huh? Did you bring it up for the class? Fuck yeah. the class. Oh, jeez. That's oh. how I was at school. Hey, so, you guys got anything else? Um, let me just... If you've listened this far... <laughs> I know you haven't. <laughs> if you've listened this far and... You were there, so you know all this stuff. Um, the people I want to address right now. I would like to thank all of the crats that put the event on. The feast crats for making... S- oh, the food was so good. Are there Democrats? Bureaucrats? Aristocrats? <sighs> we're gonna kill it, bitch. <laughs> and the autocrats for... Because, like, I'm seeing them on the screen right now. Uh, th- like... It was our first kingdom event. We were just we were blown away. Um, the Warcrat War, even though we didn't fight, you put together some interesting scenarios to watch. Um, his name is Regan. I remember that. Mm-hmm. I remember his name. Uh, so, it fun stuff to watch. Uh, congratulations to the people who won office. Uh, Lady J, Goose, King Calvo, Brooks is still losing his mind. I think he's just um, lack of sleep at this point. Just thanks for all the advice, Rowan and guys, and Caven and Starbright or Starlight. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Um, and Billy, Brutus, 
Um, <laughs> he can't handle it. Uh, this shit funny. <laughs> Carl and his wife. <coughs> <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> okay, I'm seeing it too now. It's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, but that's it. I'm done. I would like to, for my first time ever doing an event like that, I want to thank everybody for being nice and friendly. Mm. You know, thank everybody for, you know, being patient with me because I'm still trying to learn everything. Yeah, so I'm trying I, to figure out how to use a tripod. I, I, and uh, I'm still the, trying to figure out what kind of name I'm going to have. Tripod. <laughs> you know, so thank you all. It was a beautiful event. The food was awesome. The people was awesome. Y'all ran Trem- it really well. Tremendously friendly. Uh, it's, you can't even find the words to explain how friendly everybody yeah. was, you know. You know, uh, the games was, uh, well, I don't want to say games. The scenarios was ran, like, it was awesome. The, you know? They're called battle games. Battle so, games? Yeah, you can call them games. Thank y'all for letting me come out there in the middle of a battle game and with a camera and y'all didn't shoot me or slap me or kill me and stuff. I really appreciate that. I almost got hit one time, but she didn't, thank God. Mm-hmm. Uh, it that was awesome. I can't wait for the next one. Y'all got a fan out of me. Yeah, I I can't wait for mid right now. What if his name is in tripod or tripod? Shut up, Jacob. <laughs> I'm done. I'm going to bed. Everyone get out of my house. I gotta do the outro, Brooks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is talking with Brian. <laughs> no, no. not the name of the show. But uh, <laughs> we we're gonna continue doing our LARP stuff. This has been about Musa talk. About <laughs> uh, Bal- Mu- Musa talk. One thing me and about Musa are gonna do, and then Jacob, if you want, if you can, we're gonna go to different parks and record. We're gonna try to put Florida back on the map when it comes to M Garden LARPing period. Because yeah. we've been hearing a lot about, oh, Florida's down on this, and Florida don't do this no more, and Florida don't do that no more. But that would, so, that's not Amp Garden Florida. Well, I'm, not, I'm talking about LARPing in general. Oh, LARPing in general, yeah. Yeah, LARPing in general. And they don't do this, and how come this state do this, but Florida don't? Well, one thing I got to say, if, if if you see, if you know that Florida ain't doing it, well, how about you fucking do it and get it started? So what we're going to do, we're going to go around, the different people parks and we're going to expose them we're going to get them out there that's how you networking is how you get people out there yep and we're going to go network and we're going to build bonds we're going to build friendships we're going to build brother and sisterhoods with this and at the end of the day we're going to make florida great again when it comes to lark oh uh, i made you cut that part of oh the crap Shh. anyway oh, i forgot basically Anyway, uh, but I'm, we're pretty excited about doing that. We're going to head down to Billy's Park down there. What was that? Morrow so, Haven in Naples. Yeah, we're going to go down to Naples. We might stop in, what was Sarasota one? Uh, honestly, I don't remember. I can't remember that, but some guy came up to us, and I hate I hate saying some guy, and I apologize if you're listening. Well, you probably are, and I, I really apologize. I'm not good with names. I, you know, I'm old, but. Uh, you know what's great, though? He was like, yeah, we're all old guys at the park. Right, yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. He came up to us at our table. He saw us. We saw us making vlogs at our table about the food, which was oh, oh. Anyway, and he came up to us and said, "Oh, hey, we remember you from this one video." And I said, "That's pretty cool." You know, we're chatting and stuff. And I asked him, "Do you mind if we come out to your party and vlog, do videos and stuff there and stuff?" He said, "Yeah, we don't really press that much, but you know, we'll keep in contact and you come down." That's how things get started. Yep. You know. That's how that's how you make something special, and I'm glad to be a part of it. So it was definitely a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, and check us out on Facebook. Uh, just search for Ravenshurst. There's a few S's in there. Take uh, your time spelling it out on the computer. It'll probably spell it for you. R a v e n s h u r s t. Something like that. So look for that. Find us. Um, join our group. We'll keep everyone posted on what's go- what's going on. And the video should be up soon. We, we still got a little bit more to do with the video. Yeah, there's not so much of the video as usual. There was a little bit of technical difficulties, but... Yeah, but well, that stuff's it. not going up anyway. That'll be on my personal YouTube page. Like I said, we're getting a new action cam. We're getting, we're getting our camera equipment figured out. Um... If you want to help us with that, we have a Patreon now. Patreon.com slash Future Villains. Get up some new equipment. 
get us new microphones, help us pay for our trips to these different things, uh, help us just keep doing this. It's been it's been a year, guys. Yeah. We've been doing the Future Heels podcast, and now we're doing the Villains podcast, and Let's Plays, and Surviving the Hurricane, <laughs> and <laughs> all that good stuff, and hopefully we just keep getting to do it. Yep. Hopefully we can just make it all better. Yeah, we'll Thank you for up. listening. This has been the Future Villains podcast. Uh, thanks to these two for going out into these things when I can't do it. Uh, but my name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hunter. You can find me on Twitter at Best in the Realm. You can find me on Facebook, Best in the Realm Gaming, YouTube, Best in the Realm, twitch.tv slash Best in the Realm. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Bradman25, Instagram Bradman1138, and some of the um, more, the, the <clears> longer <throat> actual, like... Uncut content. Uncut, yeah, there we go. Uncut content is going to be up on my personal YouTube page, which is Nerdy Bryman, I think. Uh, isn't your name on there, Brian Peacock? Uh, I think you can find me searching. I think if you type in Nerdy Bryman, it comes up easier to yeah. find me. Okay. I shook him up under your name, too, but. Yeah, or Brian Peacock. Oh, it'll be on the website. Oh, and that's that website right. is futurevillains.com. F E W T R U E V I L L A I N S dot com. What's your social media stuff, Brooks? Uh, Twitter, Jeremy Brooks42. Instagram, J Brooks42. And probably all the uncut stuff that's going to be on Nerdy Brian is probably my bad videotaping. It I, is. Okay, so it's going to be my bad videotaping, <laughs> which I apologize for, but hey, it is what it is. That's okay. We're going to just learn from it and do better. That's all you can do, but you can find all of our content on YouTube, Future Villains. You can find it on, uh, I'll, I link everything on Twitter, you know, at Future Villains. Facebook is Future Villains. And uh, you can listen to this podcast on YouTube. It's YouTube Red Friendly, just audio, no real image. You can find us on iTunes, and you can find us on Google now and Stitcher. So thank you for listening, guys. And oh, God, I can't get up. Oh, God, I'm stuck and I can't get up. Okay, I'm good. All right, let's stop.